at Sovac City and I wanted to show you a couple of things about cutting with rulers. I know that we all struggle because the rulers slip and slide. Most people cut with their hand on the ruler completely like this. There's no grounding to it so as you go down the ruler it just slides right off. So what I want to show you is a couple little tips and tricks. I am using an Omni Grid ruler and it has this is a six and a half inch ruler. I'm cutting biased so I wanted it two and a half inch. Each square is an inch. So I have one two and I have the half. And what I want to do is I want to secure my ruler. Do any of y'all remember Mork and Mindy? I used to love that show. And they do nanu nanu. Well, that's kind of what you're going to do to hold your ruler in place. Some people call it the Star Trek grip. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger down and slide it up against there so that it holds it in place and you can see it's not moving now. I hold the bottom of the ruler with my thumb, the side of the ruler with my ring finger, and my palm rests on the table. And that gets it grounded so I've got my hand on the ruler and on the table, which keeps it grounded. Now, as I go down the ruler, if I need to re-grip, I can lift it. And again, I have my hand on the table, I have my ring finger there, that's one way to keep your edges straight, and you see how straight that edge is, and help you with it. Now, another thing you can do is we sell that grippy in the store. I talk about it in all my classes. Y'all can spray the back of your rulers, and I don't know if you can tell, but mine does have grippy on it, um, because that will help grab your fabric as well. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Kathy at Sovac City. Please come down and see me. And I'll be glad to help you with any of your sewing needs or if you need help from hints or tips or inspiration. Have a great day.